So coming into a seated position, sitting in a way that is comfortable for you to sit. Align back of skull with sacrum and bring your arms onto your thighs. Now activate your feet, spreading toes. Close your eyes and feel as if you've stepped into your own space, your sanctuary. Feel as if you've stepped into a safe space. And as you sit here now, scan your body. Choose a spot, choose one area to focus your practice. Maybe you can even touch your spot. Feeling for touching your spot within a, a loving, kind way. And then breathe into that area. Feel for breathing in a healing energy to the area you've chosen. And then notice the reaction, the sensations that surround the area you have chosen to practice, to focus today. So as you go through your practice today, keep coming back to the, this area. And if some other area becomes more pertinent in terms of your focus, or you become more curious about some other area, then make that your spot. So now breathe into your area, deep breath. As you breathe out, feeling for that release. One more breath to your area, deep breath. And exhale. Open your eyes and bring the soles of your feet together. Flex, flex the toes back towards your shins. Bring your hands back behind you. So you're in Balikanasa and chest open. The hands are behind. You're lifting belly, diaphragm lifting your chest. Pranayama is Kapalabhati breathing. 75 pumps in this. From here, take a partial breath. Sharp exhales through the nose. Now breathe in deeply. Hold the breath, lift sternum, sit bones presses down. So feel this lengthening, this dynamic opening into lower back and opening around your sternum. Bring in your hands forward of shins and exhale through your mouth. Pull the iron chin tucks into chest, pull belly in. Belly pulls in, pull it in, pull it up, and feel your ribs as they expand to the side. Allowing your shoulders to soften away from your ears. Inhale, release, push your floor away, breathe in as you come all, all the way up. Your next pose is shoelace. So bring your left foot over your right thigh just above the knee and reach out with your heels, toes flexed back towards your shin. Pranayama is Surya Veda. 
Hold the first two fingers of your right hand and use your thumb to block right nostril. Inhale through the left nostril for 10. Lock both nostrils and hold the breath for 10. Exhale, left nostril for 10. Relax belly and breathe through the left for 10. Lock in both nostrils, hold for 10. Exhale, left for 10. Inhale, left nostril for 10. Lock both nostrils, hold for 10. Exhale, left nostril for 10. And release. Change the cross of your legs. Shoelace with your right foot over your left eye just above the knee. Hold the first two fingers of your left hand and use your thumb to block left nostril. Inhale through the right nostril for 10. Lock in both nostrils and hold for 10. Exhale, right nostril for 10. Inhale, right for 10. Drop both nostrils, hold for 10. Exhale, right for 10. Inhale, right for 10. Got both nostrils, hold for 10. Exhale, right for 10. And release. Change for shoelace with your left foot over your right thigh just above your knee. Proceed in side bend with two arm position. So bring your left hand by left hip and then reach the hand about 12, 15 inches away from that hip. Relax your left ear to left shoulder. Inhale, reach your right arm up, spread the fingers. And as you breathe out, lengthen your right arm over right in. Now breathe into your spot, deep breath. And as you breathe out, wrapping your right shoulders, right arm reaches over right in. Breathe in and lift sternum, feel your chest as it moves to chin. And exhale, lengthening that right arm over right in. Breathe into lower back and lengthen ribs away from sacrum. Exhale, both shoulders away from your ears. Second arm position, just move the arm. As you breathe in, really windmill your right arm down towards the right side. The hand stops 12 inches from floor. And as you breathe out, relaxing your right shoulder down. Breathe into the right side of your neck, deep breath. As you breathe out, as you lift your chest, relax your right shoulder away from right ear. As you inhale, lengthen low ribs away from the sacrum. Keep inhaling as you lift your low ribs away 
from your sacrum, mid ribs away from lower ribs, and you upper ribs away from mid ribs. Jaw relaxes on exhale. Using your right arm, breathing, reach your right arm away. Let the arm pull you up. Left hand is supporting your head and neck. Again, challenge. Side bend in shoelace, bringing your uh, right foot over your left. Reach out with your heels, toes flexed back. Bring your right hand by right hip and then reach the hand away towards the right. Hands about 15 inches away from right hip. Relax your right ear to right shoulder. Inhale, stretch your left arm up and spread fingers. As you breathe out, reach in your left arm over left ear. As you breathe in, lengthen out of your right side. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're pushing the floor away with your right hand as you lengthen out of right side. As you breathe in, lift your chest, keep moving chest to chin. And exhale, both shoulders away from your ears. Second arm position. On the inhale, reaching your left arm down towards the left side. Hand stops about 12 inches from the floor. And as you breathe out, keep the chest lifted, but relaxing your left shoulder down. As you breathe in, breathe to your spot and feel for bringing a healing energy to your spot. And exhale, feel for that softening around your end. On the next breath, draw chest to chin. Exhale, neck is relaxing, lower your chin slightly towards the right side of chest. Using your left arm, inhale, reach your left arm away, let the arm pull you up, and use your right hand to support your head and your neck. And then release. Your next pose is. Seated side bend with one leg straight. So straighten your uh, left leg. Left leg is reaching straight forward. And your right foot, heel is tucked in. Your option to go further by bringing your uh, right foot back towards your right heel, towards your right sit bone. And your right arm is reaching back, taking hold of the ankle or the foot. Or if you have not taken your foot back, the right hand is back, fingertips are to the floor. Inhale, stretch your left arm up, open left side of body. As you breathe out, left arm is down on inside of left ear. Feel you know, for pushing the floor away with your left hand and lengthening out of left side. If you're not holding your right ankle with right hand, lift your right arm up and reach it back. As you inhale, lift your sternum. Feel for moving chest forward towards chin. And exhale. Gliding your right shoulder away from right ear. Breathe into lower back and lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And as you breathe out slightly, glide your right side ribs away from right hip. Now activate feet and spread the toes, the balls of your feet are spreading. On the next breath, lift your belly, lift your diaphragm, lift chest. Feel as if you're drawing chest and ribs forward, but as you exhale, slightly glide your right shoulder away from right ear. On the next breath, bring your right arm all the way around the back and tucking it onto your left side, hip or pelvis. And exhale, relaxing both shoulders down. Breathe into the right side of your neck, deep breath. And as you breathe out, relax your left ear with left shoulder. Keep lengthening out of your left side. And as you breathe out, feel as if you're reaching your right sit bone to floor. Chest opener on the neck, release your right arm and reach your right arm out and up towards the ceiling. And exhale, reaching that right arm back. As you breathe, breathe into the back of your heart. And exhale, rolling your chest open as you open your heart. Inhale, stretch your right arm up towards the sky. 
And as you exhale, reaching your right arm forward over your right ear. Don't allow your right hand to come lower than your uh, right ear. Inhale, expand your ribs wide, as wide as you can. And as you breathe out, as you're reaching your right arm forward, reaching your right sitter bones back. Breathe into lower back, deep breath, and lengthening ribs away from the sacrum. Forward, then exhale, hands down either side of your left foot. Activate your feet, spread the toes. Now breathe in and lift your belly away from the top of your left thigh. And exhaling as you fold. Your hamstrings are feeling very tight at this moment. Bending your left knee, contract heels to sit bone as you reach forward with the ball of your foot. Now check into your spot and breathe there. Deep breath. And exhaling as you fold. Inhale, release, push your floor away, breathe in as you come all the way up. And then change. Side bend, seated side bend, one leg straight, straighten your right leg forward, tuck your left foot in so the heel is towards the groin. You want to go further, bringing your left foot back so that your left heel is by your left knee. Reach the left hand back, take hold of your left ankle, all hands to the floor. Press down into your right sit bone. Inhale, lengthen out of your right side. As you breathe out, bring your right arm down on inside the right leg. Relax your right ear with your right shoulder. You're not holding your left ankle with left hand. Lift the hand up, reach it back 12 inches from the floor. Now breathe in and lengthen out of your right side. And exhale, relaxing your right ear with right shoulder. As you breathe in, lift belly away from pelvis. Feel your diaphragm as, as it lifts up. Move your chest. Chest is moving forward towards your chin. Keep moving chest to chin. But as you breathe out, you're relaxing your left shoulder away from left heel. Now breathe into the uh, left side of your neck. Deep breath. And exhale, relaxing your left shoulder down. On the next breath, release your left arm all the way around the back and tuck it onto your right thigh, hip or clothing. And exhale, gliding both shoulders away from your ear. Breathe into your spot, deep breath, feeling the energy that you bring to this area. And exhale, allowing your body to release from this. Chest opener on the next breath, reaching your left arm right to sky. Exhale as you arc your chest forward, reaching that left arm straight back. Breathe into back of heart, deep breaths. And exhale as you're lengthening that left arm away from left ear. On the next breath, reaching your left arm right up to sky. Exhale, reach your left arm forward over your left ear. Breathe into upper back, broaden across your upper back. Wrapping your left shoulder as you reach your left arm forward. Keep the hands aligned with your ear or higher than your left ear. As you inhale, lift and lengthen belly away from pelvis. And exhale, fold forward, hands down either side of your right foot. Your feet are active. Now connect your breath to the lowest part of your lower back and then allow the breath to just connect in, soothing this area. And exhaling as you fold. Breathe into your spot, deep breath. And exhale as you fold. One more breath in. Exhale. Inhale, release. Push the floor away. Breathe in as you come in all the way up. Grab hold of your roll. 
for abdominals with the roll. Lie down onto your back. Place the roll between your thumbs. Clasp your hands behind your head and neck. And then let your feet up off the floor. The roll is between your thighs. Your legs are reaching straight up and you're reaching out with the balls of your feet. Twisting abs. Inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl the elbows up, reach your legs straight up, and reach both elbows to left knee. Squeeze the roll. Stretch your legs up towards the ceiling. As you reach your elbows up, pull belly in. Inhale, come back to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl the elbows up. Reach your legs straight up and elbows to right knee. Squeeze, roll, and then reaching your legs right out and up towards the ceiling. Pull belly in. Inhale, bring your head to center, hold the breath. Exhale, curl the tailbone up, reach your legs straight up and reach your elbows to left knee. Squeeze, roll. Squeeze, sit bones to tailbone. Now stretching your legs up towards the ceiling. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Reach your legs straight up. Reaching elbows to right knee. Squeeze, roll, extend your legs right up towards the ceiling, pull lower belly in. Inhale, head to center, hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, now reach your legs straight up and reach your elbows to left knee. Squeeze, roll, squeeze, sit bones to tailbone. As you lengthen your legs straight up, reach your elbows up, feel on locking shoulders, and pull lower belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back down to floor. Exhale, curl tailbones up and reach your legs straight up. Reach your elbows to right knee. Squeeze, roll. Stretching your legs to the sky. Pull belly in. Inhale, bring your head to center. Hold the breath. Exhale, release. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor. Bend the knees, place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Your next pose, another abdominal pose. This is, this is elbow to knee with star spiral pulse. So clasp your hands behind your head and your neck. Lift your feet up off the floor, the knees are bent. From here, inhale, lift your head, shoulder blades up, away from floor, hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to left knee, right leg is reaching up, right heel is reaching straight up. Now pulse, reach up with that right heel, pulse, Pulse. Now keep reaching your right heel to the sky. Keep the chest lifted as you reach your elbows up. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to right knee, reaching your left leg out. Now pulse three times, reach up with your left heel. Pulse and pulse. Keep reaching your left heel to the sky, toes flex the shins, pull the belly in. Inhale, head to center, hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up, your elbows to left knee, right leg is reaching up. Now pulse, reach up with that right heel, pulse and pulse. Now keep reaching your right heel up, lift your chest and reach your elbows up and towards the left, pull belly in. Now 
Now press your lower back to the floor. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath and press your lower back to the floor. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Your elbows are to right knee. Left leg is reaching up. Now pulse, reach up with your left heel. Pulse. And pulse. Now keep reaching your left heel to the sky. Toes flex to shins. Pull belly in. Lift your chest and reach your elbows up. Pull belly in and press your lower back to the floor. Inhale, head to center. Bend the knees, hold the breath and press your lower back down. Exhale, curl elbow up. Your elbows to left knee. Now pulse, reach up with your right heel and pulse and pulse. Now keep reaching your right heel to the sky. Pull belly in. Reach your elbows up. Pull belly in and press your lower back to the floor. Inhale, head to center. Hold the breath, press your lower back down. Knees are bent. Exhale, curl tailbone up, elbows to right knee. Now pulse, reaching up with that left heel and pulse and pulse. Keep reaching your left heel up, lift your chest, reach your elbows up, pull belly in. Inhale, head to center, bend the knees, hold the breath, and exhale, release. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor, and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. And just give yourself a moment and notice how. The energy is moving through your body right now. Your next pose from here is straddle lifting through. So clasp your hands behind your head and neck. Lift your feet above the floor and then reach your legs straight out, up towards the ceiling. Then straddle the legs. Your legs are reaching straight out towards the side. Spread the toes and reach out with the balls of your feet. Inhale, lift head, shoulder blades up, away from the floor. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbones up and then stand. You're reaching your legs out towards the side. Lift your chest and reach your elbows up as if you're unlocking shoulders. Pull belly in. Inhale, low pelvis and lower your head about an inch. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Now lengthen. Keep sending your legs out towards the side. Lift chest, reach your elbows up. Pull belly in. Inhale, low pelvis, but this time lift your head and lift your chest, reaching your elbows straight up. Exhale, curl tailbone up. Now let them keep sending your legs out towards the side. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, low pelvis, but this time on the same breath, lift your head, lift your chest, and reach your elbows up. Now curl tailbones up on exhale as you lengthen your legs out towards the side. Feel the sending sit bones away from you. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, low pelvis and lower your head about an inch. Hold the breath. Exhale, curl tailbone up and then reach. Keep lengthening your legs out towards the side. Pull lower belly in. Inhale, release. Lower your head and shoulders to the floor. Bring the hands by the side of your thighs and knees. Draw your legs together and place the soles of your feet down onto the floor. Draw your heels back towards your sit bones and line up heels with your sit bones or hip distance apart. Taking hold of your roll, place the roll between your thighs or bridge, bridge with the roll. Arms relaxed down by your side and shoulders are relaxing down away from your hips. Now breathe into your spot, deep breath, feeling but energizing, using this breath to heal this area. Exhale, tilt pelvis, lifting pelvis up, away from the floor. Gentle squeeze onto the roll. 
as you breathe in, lengthen belly away from pelvis, moving chest to chin. And exhale, tilt pelvis as you lift up. Breathe into the lower back as you lengthen, lower ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, as your pelvis tilts, send thighs and knees away from hips. Deep breath, expanding your ribs as wide as you can. And exhale, lift up, pushing the floor away as you lift. On the breath, move belly away from the pelvis as you move chest to chin. And exhale, lift, push the floor away, lengthen, lengthen ankles away from heels. One more breath here, deep breath. And exhale, tilt pelvis lower, your upper back to floor. Tilt pelvis lower, mid back to floor. And tilt pelvis lowering all the way down towards the floor. Deep tilt. Move the roll out of your way. Roll to your right side. Bring your left hand down onto the floor by chest. Breathe in. And as you breathe out, push the floor away as you come on up. Using your right hand to support your head and your feet. Come onto your knees for your next pose, which is bird wing. Sit down onto your heels, tuck your elbows into the side ribs, your hands are reaching uh, forward. As you breathe in, draw your hands together. Exhale, lift the chest and then open your arms out towards the side. Keep spreading the fingers and reaching fingers away from you. Breathe in, draw hands together. Exhale, chest lifts and then open up. Keep squeezing your elbows in. Inhale. And as you exhale, chest is lifted and you open your arms out towards the side. Inhale. And exhale, chest lifts and open out. One more, breathe in. And as you exhale, open up. Squeeze your elbows in, but we'll keep reaching your arms back. Inhale, release. Your next pose today is dolphin. To do dolphin, everyone does dolphin. We aim to do a whole dolphin for five breaths and then coming down uh, or, or Okay, so the options is dolphin five breaths, both feet are onto the floor. It's from there, you can do dolphin with one leg up, aim for three to four breaths on one side, foot comes down three to four breaths on the other side. You can, if it's difficult in this way, you can also clasp your hands. Option to do, to do dolphin strut. In your dolphin strut, you come into dolphin, hands are forward, neck and shoulders relaxed. Demonstration here, inhale, lift, exhale, lift up and reach back. In your dolphin strut, you're easing your right foot forward about two to three inches and reaching your right hand back, taking hold of your heel, your ankle, your calf, even your thigh. And then you're reaching your right thigh and heel away from you. Option to go further by reaching your left leg out and up towards the sky. So this is dolphin, uh, dolphin strut with one leg up or dolphin strut both feet up to the floor. So that is your option uh, pose in this if you're wanting to go further here. Bring your hands onto your biceps to measure up. Bring your elbows to the floor. Reach your hands forward, spread the fingers or clasp your hands. Elbows are lined with shoulders. Take a deep breath into upper back. Lift, spread upper back, curl toes under. Exhale, lift knees off the floor. Lengthen the spine as you move chest to thighs and knees. Breathe into the top ribs and lengthen top ribs away from armpits. Exhale, reach back, feel as if you're opening your armpits to the back wall. Breathe into chest and feel the energy right across your chest. As you exhale, as you reach back, reaching heels to floor, chest is moving to thighs and knees. 
you're working with strut, step your right foot forward about three to four inches and reach your right hand back, taking hold of your ankle, heel, or calm. If you're working with one leg up, everyone, anchor into your right leg, breathe in, lift your left leg up, and as you breathe out, reach it back. If you're in strut, you can do this also, but you can also keep both feet to full. Breathe into your uh, left hip, feeling for sending left thigh away from you. And as you breathe out, reach, reach your left thigh away from you. One more breath, deep breath, keep lengthening your right left thigh back and away. And exhale, lower your left foot to the floor. If you're in strong place, your right hand back to the floor. Step your left foot forward and reach your left hand back, taking hold of the ankle or heel. Everyone anchor into your left leg, breathe in. Lift your right leg up. If you're in strut, you can keep both feet down or come into the foot up. Deep breath, breathing into right hip. And exhale, reach, reaching your right leg back and away from you. Deep breath. Push the floor away on exhale, keep the neck relaxed. Deep breath, gliding your right thigh back away from right hip. And as you breathe out, lower in your right foot to the floor. Both hands into the floor if you're in strut. Breathe in deeply. Push the floor away and exhale. Reach your heels to the floor. If you can, lift the toes away from the floor. Deep breath. And exhale, release. Bend the knees and come all the way down to the floor. From here, come to the come to stand for Agni Sara. Do Agni Sara in horse in horse dance. So your knees are bent, your toes are turning out, your hands are onto your thighs, heel of the hands uh, by hip crease. Your fingers are reaching down towards your knees. Two rounds slow, two rounds fast. So breathe in and then exhale. Chin tucks the chest, suck your belly in and up, and let it go, all the way in and up, release, all the way back. And breathe, deep breath. And exhale, and this start moving the belly nice and slow. Feel the sensation of the belly as it pulls in, it spreads the ribs. And when you let it go, feel as if your sit bones are pressing down. Keep your feet active, knees are bent. And then relax, two rounds fast. Breathe in. And exhale. Now move in the belly as fast as you can. Keep sitting deeper into the pose and keep moving belly. And one more, breathe in. And exhale. Finish ducking in. Move belly. Keep moving the belly as fast as you can. And then release. Come to stand here, so your feet together. Your next pose today is twisting squat. So with your feet together, bend your knees. And then feel as if you're sitting straight down. Keep your right hand onto your right hip. Bend the knees as you breathe in. Bring your left arm over your right thigh. So the left elbow is just above your right knee. Make a fist with your left hand and bring your right hand on top. As you press down into your feet, breathe in and lengthen your left side ribs away from left hip. And as you breathe out, twist to the right. As you breathe in, lifting and moving belly forward away from pelvis. And as you breathe out, as you twist to the right, feel as if your sit bones are reaching to floor. On the breath, draw chest forward away from chin. 
Exhale, gliding both shoulders down. On the next breath, keep lengthening out of your left side. And exhale, twisting towards the right. Inhale, release. And ease on up for the other side. Your knees are bent. Your right hand, left hand is onto left hip. As you breathe in, bring your right elbow over your left side. Your elbow is just above your knee. Make a fist with your right hand. Left hand is on top. Notice your right knee wants to ease forward. Keep it back. Now sit a little deeper and then breathe in. Lengthen your right ribs forward and away from right hip. And as you breathe out, twisting towards the left. Breathe into lower back and lengthening the ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, as you twist to the left, relax your left shoulder away from left ear. Soften chest. And as you breathe, moving chest forward. And as you breathe out, send your sit bones back as you twist to the left. Inhale, release, and then ease, ease on up. Your next pose is chest opener against the wall. So starting with your left foot forward for warrior one. Left foot is forward, bending that left knee. Reach your left arm back, the hand is onto the wall. Your left hand is about as high as your shoulder, but the fingers. Your right hand is onto the top of your, uh, just below the shoulder. So you're opening the uh, pectoral muscles here. Or you can have both hands onto the wall. Bend your front knee. And then breathe in, lengthen out of your left side. And as you exhale, glide your left shoulder down, bend your front knee, and feeling just feel the left side of your chest is easing. As you breathe in, keep lifting and lengthening. Feel as if you're lengthening up right from your left hip. And as you exhale, feel as if you're reaching your left arm back. As you breathe, breathe into the front of your heart. The pectoral muscles are turning on on your left side. And as you exhale, ease your right hip forward as you send your left arm back. One more breath in, deep breath, keep lifting chest. And as you exhale, twist as if you're turning inside towards the inside of the room. Inhale, release. Step in your right foot forward and then turn around for the other side. Your right foot is stepping forward for warrior one. Your right hand is on the wall and it's reaching back. The hand is about the same height as the shoulder. As you inhale, lengthen out of your right side. As you breathe out, bend your right knee as you're reaching your right arm back. As you breathe, feel as if you're raising your right shoulder up, as if the outer shoulder is coming up towards your ear. Now exhale, glide the shoulders down as you're reaching that right arm back. Turn slightly inwards as you reach that right arm back. As you breathe, lift chest. Now bend your right knee on exhale and reach that right arm back a little bit more. One more breath, deep breath. Glide your uh, left hip forward as you're reaching your right arm back. Inhale, release. Step your left foot forward as you're coming out of this pose. So your next pose, now that your shoulders are nicely open, is uh, dolphin against the wall. So coming down onto your knees, the soles of your feet are up against the wall. You can do this with your hands clasped. So hands are onto your biceps, first of all. Your elbows are down onto the shoulders. Reach your hands forward. At this point, you can choose to clasp your hands. Today, we'll do dolphin, keeping both feet onto the wall. 
Keep the neck and shoulders relaxed. Breathe into upper back, lifting, spreading the upper back. Toes go under. Exhale, lift knees off the floor and reaching back. If you're going further, step one foot onto the wall, step both feet onto the wall. Keep the, keep the neck relaxed and long. Now breathe into upper back, deep breath. And exhale, core belly in as you move your chest towards the wall. As you breathe in, spread your ribs wide towards your armpits. Now use your forearms as you push the floor away. As you breathe in, feel as if you're softening chest as you breathe to the front of heart. And as you breathe out, pull belly in. Chest is moving to the wall. Now feel the back of your calves. The back of your thighs are reaching to sky. And breathe into your spot. Deep breath. And exhale, push. Push the floor away as you lift up. You're moving chest to the wall. Your neck is relaxed. Deep breath. Inhale. And exhale, reach, lengthen. You're pushing the wall away, but you're moving your chest to wall. Inhale, release. Step one foot down, then step both feet down. Push the floor away and come up. Come to the front of your mat. Starting your salutation. Your knees are tweaky, then you can uh, add your knees. Coming into salutations. Standing with your feet together. If your back is three, you can bring your feet a little bit wider. As you exhale, hands together at your chest. Press your feet into the floor. Feel yourself really grounded. And then inhale, reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in, hands to the floor. Large inhale, step your left leg back, bend your left knee, pushing the floor away as you're reaching your arms up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank. Reaching back into the heels, bend the knees, exhale, lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and reach forward, left and left back. Exhale, press back down, we'll take you down. Lunge, inhale, left leg steps full between the hands, right knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg forward for forward bend. Inhale, stand, lengthen through the spine, you reach your arms to sky. And exhale, hands together, out. Inhale, arms up, telescoping reach. Exhale, fold forward, belly spin. Lunge, breathe in, step your right leg back, bend your right knee, and you're reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels, bend the knees, exhale, lower down, keep elbows in. Cobra, inhale, moving chest and ridge forward as you reach your legs back. Exhale, release, lower down, press back, downward facing. Lunge, inhale, right leg steps forward between the hands, left knees to the floor. Push the floor away as you reach your arms to sky. Exhale, hands down, let your left foot forward, forward bend. Inhale, stand. Lengthen through the spine, your arms reach to the sky. Exhale, hands together at chest. Chair pose, inhale, bend the knees and sweep your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. Breathe in, lengthen through the spine. And as you breathe out, step or hop it back into plank, lower down, keep elbows in. Cobra, inhale, move chest and ribs forward. Exhale, press it back, downward dog. Inhale, warrior one, step your left foot forward by left hand, right foot towards the right edge of the mat, push the floor away as you reach your arms out and up towards the sky, bending that front knee. Exhale, hands down, step your left leg back for plank, reaching back into heels, lower down on exhale, elbows to in. Upward dog, breathe in, moving chest and ribs forward as you lengthen your legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step your right foot forward by right hand, left foot towards the left edge of the mat, push the floor away as you reach your arms out and up towards the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank, 
reach back into heels, and as you bring that lower down, keep elbows in. Upward dog, breathe in. As you move chest and wrist forward, lengthen your legs back. Exhale, press it back, downward dog. On the breath, bend the knees as you breathe in. Step or hop your legs between the hands. Exhale, forward bend, belly sink. Chair pose, inhale, knees are bent, your arms are reaching up. Exhale, stand, hands together at you. Inhale, arms up, telescoping ribs. Exhale, fold forward, belly in. Lungs breathe in, step your left leg back, bend your left knee, push the floor away as you're reaching your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step right leg back, plank. Reach back into heels, exhale, lower down, keep elbows in. Cobra, inhale, moving chest and reach forward as you lengthen the legs back. Exhale, press back, downward dog. Lung, uh, worry one, breathe in. Step your right foot, left foot by your left hand, right foot towards the right edge of the mat. Push the door away as you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down. Left leg steps back for plank. Reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down. Upward dog, breathe in. Move chest and reach forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Warrior one, breathe in, step right foot forward by your right hand, left foot towards the left edge of the mat, push the floor away, you reach your arms to the sky. Exhale, hands down, step your right leg back for plank, reach back into heels, and as you breathe out, lower down. Upward dog, breathe in, moving chest and reach forward, lengthen your legs back, keep elbows tucked in. Exhale, press back, downward facing dog. On the breath, bend the knees, and as you inhale, step or hop your legs between the hands. Exhale, forward bend, lengthen to the front. Inhale, chair pose, knees are bent, your arms are reaching up. And exhale, stand hands together at your chest. Coming into a, a three pose vignette. So come to the front of your mat, bend the knees, chair pose, breathe in, and your arms reach up. Exhale, fold forward, bellies in. As you breathe in, move chest away from thighs and knees. Exhale, step or hop it back into plank and lower down. Keep elbows in. Inhale, cobra, move chest and reach forward, lengthen legs back. Exhale, press back for downward facing dog. On the breath, inhale, warrior one, step your left foot forward by your left hand, is your right foot towards the right edge of the mat. You might need a strap. As you reach your arms up, Come into Archer, Warrior One. So your left elbow reaches up, your right hand reaches around, takes hold of the a hand. Both hands are taken hold of if you can, or use a strap to bind the hand. As you breathe in, lift sternum. And as you exhale, reach your left elbow up towards the sky. As you breathe in, feel for unlocking your left shoulder as your left elbow reaches up. And as you breathe out, softening your right shoulder away from right hip. Now breathe the lips, chest is lifting up as you're reaching your left elbow straight up. Keep reaching your left elbow up on exhale, but softening both shoulders down. Inhale, release. From here, your next pose is Eagle Warrior. As you breathe in, bring your left arm over your right and find the hand. And as you breathe out, guide your shoulders back. Breathe into back of heart, deep breath. And as you breathe out, reaching your elbows forward. As you breathe, breathe the sternum, deep breath. And as you breathe out, strong legs, you're reaching your forearms forward, so you're opening your upper back. Inhale, release. Bring your hands to the floor, either side, of your uh, left leg, bend your right knee, right knees to the floor. From here, bring your hands back so the heel of the hands is tucking the sacrum down. You can also bring the fingers so that the fingers align either side of the spinal column, bend the front knee. As you inhale, press into your right shin and then lengthening your ribs up away from waist. And as you breathe out, as you go a little deeper, reach your elbows back, squeeze your elbows in. As you press your uh, left foot to floor, breathe in, lift belly, lift diaphragm, lift chest. And exhale, go a little deeper, keep the chest lifted. 
on the next breath, lift chest as if up towards your chin. And as you exhale, slightly curl pubic bone to navel. Inhale, release. Bring your hands either side of your left foot. Get your left leg back for plank. Reach back into heels. And as you breathe out, lower down, keep it in elbows in. Inhale, cobra. Move chest down, reach forward as you're reaching your legs back. Exhale, press back down, wood facing dog. Inhale, step your right leg forward for warrior one. May need a strap. Coming up, you're reaching your arms up. Left foot is towards the left edge of the mat. Archer, keep reaching your right elbow up. Bring your left arm around and bind the hands or use a strap to bind. Press into your left leg as you're breathing off the chest. As you lift your chest, you're reaching your right elbow up. And as you breathe out, glide your left shoulder away from left knee. As you breathe in, uh, keep reaching your right elbow up towards the sky. And as exhale, gliding your right shoulder down. One more breath, lift sternum. And exhale, right elbows up, or soften the shoulder down. Inhale, release. Your next pose is Eagle Warrior. As you breathe in, bring your right arm over your left and find the hand. And as you breathe out, glide the shoulders back as you feel as if you're squeezing your shoulders down. And bring it into your spot. Deep breath. And as you breathe out, feeling for that warm release into that area. Breathe into sternum. Deep breath. And as you breathe out, reach your forearms forward. Inhale, release. Hands down either side of your right foot. Place your left knee to the floor. Lounge back then with your hands either onto the sacrum or thumbs either side of your spinal column. Bend that front knee. Press back into your left shin and then breathe in, lengthening out of your lower back. And as you breathe out, reach your elbows back. Feel as if you're sending right sit bone down towards, towards right heel. Press your right foot to floor and then breathe, breathe in, lift and lengthen, belly away from pelvis, the sternum. And exhale, keep the chest lifted as you reach your elbows back. Chest is lifting up. Breathe in into lower back. Exhale, reach and sit bones down, reach it back. On the next breath, lift, chest is lifting right up to chin. And as you breathe out, keep the chest lifted as you reach your elbows back. Inhale, release. Step your uh, right leg back for all fours. And then move to the wall for downward facing dog against the wall. In your downward facing dog against the wall, you have option of keeping both feet onto the wall or working with one leg up. Uh, three to four breaths on each leg that's reaching up. If you want to go further, you have the option of moving into downward facing dog on the wall with split. So the leg that's reaching up reaches forward over your head. That's it. So start with sit bones against the wall. You're reaching one foot forward. And then where that foot is, is where your hand will be. And inhale, exhale, come up into downward facing dog on the floor. From there, you step one foot onto the wall and then step the other foot up. And breathe in. Pull belly in, exhale, push the floor away with your hands. You're working deeper, you want to work with one leg up, reaching your left leg out and up to stop. And breathe into left hip, deep breath. And exhale, reaching your left leg to the sky. Reach out with the balls of your foot. Deep breath, inhale. Pull belly in, exhale, as you're sending that leg straight up. Deep inhale. And as you exhale, keep sending that leg out and up. Chest is moving to the wall, belly's in. One more breath here, deep breath. 
and exhale, release. Face that foot to the wall, change if you haven't already. Breathe into your right hip, deep breath. And exhale, lengthening that right leg straight up. If you're working with the leg up, deep breath. Pull belly in, exhale, moving chest to wall. Deep inhale. One more breath in. And exhale, release. And step down. Lie down uh, on your mat. Face down for your next pose, which is prelude to wave dancer. So land down on your belly. The hands are under the shoulders and you've lengthened your legs back, tops of the feet onto the floor. Your fingertips are about aligned with shoulders. So in here, you're using your belly to come up. Press the tops of feet to floor. As you breathe in, lift your belly down from chest. Exhale, come on down, belly's in. As you breathe in, lift up. Draw chest and ribs forward. And as you breathe out, lower down. Sit first, touch the heel. Breathe in and come up. And exhale as you lower down. Two more, breathe in and come up. Feel as if you let the belly away from pelvis as you lengthen ribs away from sacrum. And exhale as you lower down. One more, breathe in as you're coming up. And exhale, lower down. Hands are under the shoulders, breathe into lower back curl, toes under. And exhale, press back, downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in your downward dog. Arrow lunge, inhale, step your left foot forward between the hands. Place your right knee to the floor and then release the back foot so the toes are not curled under. Lift your right knee off the floor, straighten your right leg. You can keep your hands here or bring the hands onto your left thigh, traction in your left thigh forward. As you breathe in, keep lengthening away from the top of your right thigh. As you reach your right leg back, send your left thigh forward. You're going further. You're reaching your arms out and up to sky. And then breathe into lower back, lengthening ribs away from sacrum. And as you exhale, go deeper if you can as you send your right leg back. Back of calf, back of thigh is reaching up to sky. Last breath, deep breath. And exhale, release. Bring your hands to the floor and place your right knee down. Lounge, lounge. Bring your right hand forward about 12, 16 inches away from your shoulder. Left hand is traction in your left thigh forward. Your anchor into your right leg. And as you're breathing, gliding your ribs forward away from right hip. Press your left foot to floor as you twist towards the inside of left thigh. Inhale. Lengthen, move your belly forward away from pelvis. And exhale, as you move your chest closer towards your left thigh, feel as if your right ribs are coming to armpit. Breathe into lower back and lengthening your ribs away from sacrum. And exhale, bringing your chest closer towards your inside of your left leg. Inhale, release. Bring your hands either side of your front foot and then ease your left foot back about three to four inches. Twisting lunge, your left hand is onto left thigh. Breathe in, reach your right arm up. As you breathe out, your right elbow is over your left thigh knee. Make a fist with right hand, left hand is on top. As you press into your right shin, breathe in, lengthening your right ribs away from right hip. And exhale, twist to the left. Breathe into lower back, lengthening ribs away from sacrum. Twist to the left and relax your left shoulder away from you. Soften your chest and then breathe there, moving chest forward towards chin. Press your left foot to the floor, twist to the left, glide your left sit bone back. Inhale, release. Hands either side of your front foot. Step your left leg back for plank. 
reach back into heels and as you breathe out lower down keeping elbows in cobra inhale move chest down reach forward as you reach in the legs back exhale press it back downward facing dog feeling for pushing floor away in your downward dog other side inhale step your right leg forward between the hands for arrow lunge face your left knee to the floor and then release the back foot the toes are not curled on you from here lift your left knee off the floor straighten your left leg you're going further bring your hands onto your right thigh as you crouch in your right thigh foot, foot, foot forward you're going further reaching your arms out and up towards the sky as you breathe in feel as if you're lengthening belly away from pelvis and as you breathe out, go a little deeper as you reach in your left leg back. As you breathe in, press into your right foot, lift belly, lift down from the chest. And exhale as you're taking it a little deeper. One more breath, deep breath. Exhale, release. Hands down either side of your right foot, place your left knee to the floor. Is your left foot back about three inches. Set up for twisting lunge. Right hand is onto the right thigh. Breathe in, stretch your left arm up. Exhale, left elbow is over your right thigh. Make a fist with left hand, right hand is on top. Press into left shin. As you breathe in, lengthening your ribs forward away from left hip. Exhale, twist to the right and relax your left shoulder away from you. Breathe into lower back, deep breath. Feed this air with your breath. Exhale as you twist to the right. Relax your right shoulder away from you. Relax sternum and then breathe to your heart. Deep breath. You're moving chest forward to chin. As you exhale, as you twist to the right, bend your right sit bone back. Inhale, release. Get your right leg back step it back for plank and then reaching back into heels keeping the elbows tucked in lower down you will need your roll for this pose so you're lowering all your uh, lower down to uh, knees and then grab hold of the roll face the roll under your belly for cobra push-ups over the roll hands are under the shoulders tops of the feet are onto the floor Five of these. So press the tops of your feet to floor. And as you breathe in, move chest and ribs forward. Slide the shoulders down and back. And as you breathe out, relax your belly as you pull, pull, pull. Breathe in and move chest and ribs forward as you're coming up. And as you breathe out, relax over the roll as you fall. Breathe in as you move your chest and ribs forward. Lengthen your legs back. Relax your belly on exhale. Two more. Breathe in. If you're coming up. And exhaling as you fall. One more. Breathe in. And exhaling. Curl the toes under. Breathe into lower back. Exhale. Press it back. Downward facing down. Feeling for pushing your way in your downward dog. On your next breath, as you breathe in, step your left leg forward between the hands for a uh, twisting lunge. So, warrior one, twisting warrior. Your uh, arms are reaching up towards the sky. Bend your front knee. Twisting warrior, bring your left hand onto left thigh. Breathe in, reach your right arm up. And as you breathe out, bring in your right elbow over your left thigh knee. Make a fist with your right hand, left hand is on top. As you reach back into your right leg, breathe in, lengthening your ribs forward away from right hip. And exhale as you twist to the twist to the left. As you breathe in, keep lengthening belly away from pelvis. As you twist to the left, glide your left sit bone back. On the breath, draw chest forward. Chest is moving forward to chin. Twist to the left on exhale and reach back, reaching your right leg back. One more breath, deep breath. 
and exhale, release. Placing your right knee supreme. From here, twisting lunge interlock. Your right arm slides over your left thigh, the hand slides under the thigh. Left arm reaches around the back and bind the hand or use a strap uh, to bind. If you don't have a strap, you can use clothing by placing your left hand onto right hip or into, into hip, hip waistband and your right arm is around the back, either grabbing the strap or into your waistband on the left side. As you press into your right shin, breathe in and lengthening ribs away from right hip. As you breathe out, twisting towards the left, both shoulders are down. Now breathe, enter chest. Keep lifting chest as if up towards the chin. You're moving chest, you're moving chest closer and closer to chin. And exhale, rolling chest open to sky as you glide your left shoulder away from left. Breathe into lower back and keep lengthening the ribs away from waist. And exhale, opening to the left. One more breath, deep breath. And exhale, release. You have an option post here. For some of you, you have the option of doing side crow. Uh, so you have side crow. If you're doing side crow, you'll you bring your feet together. Your left hand is by left hip and the reach the hand away. Your right arm is coming over the hand presses against your feet. You inhale. Lengthen out of your left side. And as you breathe out, as you come forward, you're balancing on your triceps. You're reaching your legs out towards the side. So side crow is one option. Your alternative, if you're not coming into that pose, is to do extended twisting warrior. So if you're doing that instead, you have the option of doing extended twisting warrior, stepping your left foot forward, bringing your right hand down on the outside of your left foot and reaching your left arm out and up towards the sky. Or you can do it with your knee, uh, right knee to the floor. So that's your alternative. Extended twisting lunge or extended twisting warrior, reaching your uh, left arm to sky, opening out towards the left. Or side crow. So those are your options. Go ahead, choose the pose that's right for you. Once you've had it go, step it back into downward facing dog. Downward facing dog. From here, warrior one, inhale, step your right foot forward by your right hand. Left foot towards the left edge of the mat. Pushing the floor away, you're reaching your arms out and up to sky. Bending your right knee. Twisting warrior, right hand is onto the right thigh. Inhale, stretch your left arm is up. Breathe out, left elbow is over the right side. Make a fist with your left hand, right hand is on top. Inhale, lengthening your ribs away from left hip. Press your right foot to floor, exhale, twist to the right. Breathing into lower back and lengthening your ribs away from sacrum. Exhale, twist to the right, slide your right sit bone back. Now breathe in and keep moving chest forward. Chest is moving to the chin. Reach your left leg back as you twist, twist to the left. Sorry, twist to the right. Inhale, release. Face your left knee to the floor. Twisting lunge into lock. You're sliding your left arm over your right thigh, then slightly under. Right arm is around the back, bind the hands on the hips. Or use a strap. Combined. If you don't have a strap, then bind by bringing your 
right hand across towards your left hip. You can take hold of clothing or slide the hand into waistband. Left arm is around by your right hip and use your clothing. As you breathe in, lengthen ribs away from your left hip. Exhale, twist to the twist to the right. Press your right foot to floor and breathe in. Lengthen belly away from pelvis. Twist to the right and relax your both shoulders down. As you breathe in, move chest. Chest is moving forward to chin. Press your left shin to floor, twist to the left, twist to the right. And release. So your option pose is to come into side crow, starting with both feet together. Your right hand is by hip, reaching the hand away from the hip. Your left arm is coming across, you're pressing against your shin. You inhale, lengthen, you're stretching out of your right side. And as you breathe out, as you come over towards the uh, right, you're balancing onto forearms. Your feet, knees will be off the floor. In your side crow, so that's where you go. You can also use a block for under your head if you wanted. If you're not coming into the side crow, you have the option of doing extended twisting warrior bringing your left hand down on the outside of your right foot and reaching your right arm up towards the sky. You can also do that in lunge by placing your left into the floor. So those are options for you. Aim for three to five breaths in whichever of those poses you've chosen. So choose the pose that's for you and then come into the pose. Once you've done as much as you can, step into downward facing dog. From downward facing dog, as you breathe in, glide forward for high plank. Exhale, lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. Uh, cobra, uh, cobra uh, with sh uh, shoulder shrugs. So both the shoulder shrugs, hands onto the shoulders. Inhale, lift chest, lift legs, lift arms. Exhale, glide the shoulders down the back, squeeze your elbows in, lengthen your legs back. As you breathe in, broaden the upper back, arms reach forward. Exhale, as you lift up, glide the shoulders down the back, squeeze elbows in. And breathe in, you're broadening the upper back. Exhale, lift up, glide the shoulders down, squeeze your elbows in, sit bones tucks to heels. Two more, breathe in as you broaden the upper back. Exhale, lift up, and then you reach back. Last one, breathe in, broaden, upper back. As you exhale, as you lift your chest, glide the shoulders down, squeeze elbows in, lengthen the legs back, sit bones are reaching to heels. Inhale, knees, slow down. Hands over the shoulders, breathe into low back, curl, toes under. And exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Beginning for pushing floor weight in your downward dog. On the next breath, as you breathe in, step your left foot forward between the hands for lunge. Place your right knee to the floor, reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Cradling the brain, clasp your hands behind your head and neck. Lift your chest as you reach your elbows up. Press into your right shin as you breathe in, keep lengthening out of lower back. As you breathe out, as you go a little deeper, reach your elbows up to sky. Press your left foot to floor and breathe in left and belly away from left eye, chest is lifting. And as you breathe out, reach, elbows are reaching up to sky. Breathe into lower back, mid back and upper back. And as you exhale, take it into a little deeper, keep reaching elbows out. One more breath, deep breath. 
and exhale, release. Place your hands to the floor. Grab hold of a strap and place the strap around your right ankle. The, the strap is around your right ankle or the right foot. Then take hold of the strap with your right hand. Bring the strap around and then reaching your elbow up. Take hold of the strap with both hands. Your elbows are reaching to sky. As you breathe in, lengthening the ribs away from waist. Bend your left knee as you reach your elbows up to sky, chest is lifted. Now breathe in and keep moving belly away from pelvis, lift sternum. And exhale, reaching your elbows up. If you reach your right leg back, it takes you deeper into pose. Try to keep your front foot level, don't allow it to move to the side, either outwards or inwards. And then breathe in and lengthen out of lower back. And as you exhale, reach. Elbows are reaching upwards to the sky. One more breath, deep breath. And exhale, release. And ease up. From here, move the strap away from your right ankle. Reach your pigeon. The pigeon aims to be. Bring your hands down either side of your front foot, glide your uh, left foot towards the uh, right edge of the mat. Bring your left hand forward, center of sternum, left hand is to the floor. Bend your right knee, bring your right hand back, take hold of your foot or ankle. Your pigeon aids to be. As you breathe in, you're lengthening the ribs up away from waist. And as you breathe out, Draw your uh, right heel towards the right knee. Deep breath, inhale. And as you breathe out, drawing that heel in, right heel comes as close towards you as you can. One more breath, deep breath. And as you breathe out, keep moving that heel in. If you can, grab hold of your right ankle with both hands in pigeon, then that's your challenge. And then breathe in. And exhale, reaching your right heel away from you. Now breathe and lift sternum. And exhale as you're reaching your right foot away from you, keeping chest lifted. One more breath, deep breath. And exhale, release. Left hands to the floor. Hands are under the shoulders. Step your left leg back for plank. And reach back into heels. Exhale, lower down, keeping elbows tucked in. Inhale, cobra. Moving chest and ribs forward as you lengthen legs back. Exhale, lower down, press back down, wood facing dog. Feeling for pushing your away in your downward dog. Lunge, inhale, step your right leg forward between the hands. Place your left knees to the floor. Have your strap close by. And then Bend your front knee, reaching your arms out and up towards the sky. Cradling the brain, bring your hands behind your head. Lift your chest, reach your elbows up. Press into your left shin and breathe in and lengthening the ribs out and up. And as you breathe out, press your right foot to the floor. Chest is lifted. Breathe into your lower back, mid back, upper back. As you exhale, as you come a little deeper, Reaching your elbows up, chest lift. Breathe into heart, deep breath. And exhale, reach. Your elbows are reaching up. Feel as you feel lower ribs, your armpits are opening up as you reach your elbows to sky. Inhale, release. Hands down. Place a strap around your left ankle or your left foot. Reach your left hand back, grab hold of the strap. Reaching the strap around towards the left side of your body. Your elbow will, left elbow will initially reach up. Grab hold of the strap with both hands. Elbows are reaching up towards the sky. As you breathe in, lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. As you breathe out, bend that front knee as you're reaching your elbows up towards the sky. Deep breath, lift sternum. Feel as if you're placing chest right to sky. And as you exhale, keep coming deeper, press your right foot to the floor. 
Your right foot is pressing to floor and then breathe in, lifting sternum. And exhale, coming a little deeper into pose. One more breath. And exhale, release. Your next pose is pigeon. So ease your right foot towards the left edge of your mat. Reach your, line up your right hand with sternum and hands flat to the floor. Reach your left hand back, bend your left knee, grab hold of your ankle or your foot. Stay down into pelvis breathing and lengthening out of your, your back, lower back. This is H to B, pigeon H to B. And as you breathe out, drawing your left heel towards your uh, uh, glute. As you breathe in, lift belly, diaphragm, lift chest. And as you breathe out, you're reaching, you're keep drawing your left heel towards your sit up. Deep breath, inhale. Draw your heel in, left heel is in, but you're sending your left thigh back. If you're going further, reach your right hand back, grab hold of your uh, left ankle with both hands. And now inhale, lengthening the ribs out away from waist. As you breathe out, reach your left heel away from you, lift your chest. Now breathe and keep moving chest up, upwards towards sky. And exhale, reaching your left heel away from you. Breathe into lower back and lengthen, keep lengthening ribs away from sacrum. Now open chest as you reach your left leg back. Inhale, release. Your hands are down either side, of your front foot. Let your, let your right leg back for plank, then bend the knees and come on down. Grab hold of your roll, place your roll between your thighs for cobra push-ups with the roll. Lie down onto your belly, hands are under the shoulders, tops of the feet are pressing to floor. As you breathe in, move chest and reach forward, lengthening your legs back. Exhale, fold forward, keep elbows tucking in. Deep breath, draw chest and reach forward. Now squeeze the roll and keep lengthening away from the roll. And as you exhale, come on down. Tuck the elbows, squeeze the roll. Breathe in, move chest and reach forward. And exhale and as you allow your body to come forward. Two more, tuck the elbows, squeeze the roll. Breathe in as you move chest and reach forward. And exhale as you fold. One more, tuck the elbow and squeeze the roll. Breathe in as you lift up, your chest and ribs forward. Lengthen your legs back. And exhale as you fold. Bring your hands under the shoulders. Curl the toes under, inhale. Exhale, press it back, downward facing dog. Feeling for pushing floor away in your downward dog. From here, Come on down onto knees. Your next pose is straddle. So you're sitting down onto your sit bones and reaching your legs out towards the side. If you have your roll, and if you have one of these uh, slightly longer rolls, that's even better. Your roll will be coming down and you'll be folding forward onto the roll. So you're reaching your legs out towards the side and you're doing forward bend, straddle forward bend with the roll under your belly. What the roll does under your belly is it helps to open and protect your back. Bring your hands forward, lengthen your legs out towards the side. Now from here, press your sit bones to the floor and then breathe in, lift belly away from pelvis as if you're lifting up over the roll. And as you breathe out, you're folding forward. So your belly's coming to the, to the roll. Breathe into lower back, lengthening lower ribs away from sacrum. Pull belly in, exhaling as you fold. Keep reaching the legs out towards the sides, spread the feet, spread the toes, the ball of your foot is spreading. As you breathe in, keep lengthening, belly lifts, sternum is lifting. And exhaling as you fold. 
Now breathe into your lower back and your mid back. And as you breathe out, letting your body melt. Keep lengthening, keep moving belly away from pelvic bowl, moving belly away from the, the roll. Now pull belly in. You may be as far as lying down onto the roll. That's okay. You're using the roll to help to open up your back. Deep breath, inhale. Exhaling as you fold. Taking three more breaths in, deep breaths. Breathe into your spot, deep breaths. Inhale, release, push it go away, breathe in. Coming all the way back up. Hands by hips and then ease away. So sending sit bones back and easily taking the pressure away. So you're opening out into the uh, the back of uh, knees and draw your legs together. Lie down on your backs. For Shavasana. As you press your buttocks to the floor, lengthen your legs. Feel as if you're reaching out with your heels, the opening into the back of thighs, back of knees, back of calves. Do this both sides and let your arms relax by sides. Shoulders relax away from your ears. Close your eyes. And allow yourself just to let go into your final pose in Shavasana. So relax the back of skull. Relax your ears. Relax your forehead. And relax your eyes and eye sockets. And then feel as if you're looking straight upwards into the third eye, looking out into the darkness. Relax your cheekbones, relax your nose and relax your jaw. So this is a good moment to open your mouth and moving your jaw from side to side. Helping to unlock the tension that builds up into hips and into joints. Let go of the side of your neck so you're unlocking and releasing the scalies muscles. Helping to reduce the tension that builds into the neck and into the jaw. Helps to reduce the headaches that come from this locking up. Slide the shoulders away from your ears and creating more space around your neck. And then relax your upper back. Relax your mid back and your lower back. Slight tuck into pelvis. As you, as you relax pelvis, relax your buttocks, relax your thighs. Relax the back of your thighs and front of your thighs. And relax the back of knees. Relax the side of knees and front of knees. Relax your calves.
Relax your shins and ankles and relax your feet and toes. Relax your arms, triceps, biceps. Soften elbows. And relax your forearms, your wrists, your hands. Relax your fingers. Now relax your belly. Relax your diaphragm. Relax your chest. Still the mind. So in the next moment, I want you to still the mind completely and coming into your own meditation, focusing a meditation of silence, but choosing one element, one part of you. Maybe you're coming back to your spot as a point of focus. And then block out everything. Just stay with the focus on your one spot. Check it in as much as you can. Keep full focus on that one spot and then see what comes up for you. What is your spot trying to reveal to you? So stay with that. It's your meditation of silence, but you're very focused. Letting go of all of the external chatter. Just stay focused on your spot.
to gently breathe into your spot. Allow yourself to be open and to release and taking in the information that you received. Begin to move your fingertips on the tips of your toes. And then breathe into these areas and allowing yourself to be energized, allow these areas to be energized with the healing energy that you've derived from the, from the earth and with your breath. Move this through your body. And then exhaling, letting go of all that's not serving. And on your, on your next breath, stretch out in a way that feels good. Bending the knees, knees to chest, and then roll to your uh, left side. Put your right hand down, flat your right hand on the floor by chest, breathe in. Push, breathe out, push the floor away with your right hand, come up, use your left hand to support your head and neck, come into the seated position. It's really not tall, bring your hands together so the thumbs are lightly touching the sternum. Bit tall. Eyes are closed, check, check into Spartan. Check into what you received and make a commitment to yourself. Make a commitment to continue with your own process, being guided by the messages that you're receiving from your own body. Thank you for allowing me to guide you through your practice today. As we finish with a breath, a deep breath, and exhale. Namaste. Thanks everyone.